Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the Wipro coding questions which were asked on the asked in Wipro hiring, which was held on 25th February 2022 in slot one. So guys, kindly make sure that you watch this video till the end. Guys, I previously also I made some Wipro coding questions in this playlist. I will give you the link of this playlist in the i button on the description box. Make sure to visit it if you are preparing for the Wipro exam. Guys, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe it as well as join our training groups also. I am posting regular updates on different companies which are hiring as well as the questions regarding asked in them. So guys, now let's start this video and before starting the video, please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel and join all the diagram groups that are given in the description box. Okay, so guys, first we will be discussing the question, then we will be discussing the approach of this question and in the last part of this video, I will be telling you how to write the code for this question. Okay, so a question here is a company is securing its data with a security key before transmitting it to another server. Data is a sequence of digit 0 to 9. The security key is identified from the digit itself as digit having the maximum value will be discarded as the security key. Write an algorithm to find the security key of the data. So what it is saying that you are given a sequence of data in which the sequence is from digit 0 to 9. Now in that data you have to find a security key and how you will finding the security key the value of the security key is equivalent to the digit only but that digit should have the maximum value from in the entire sequence so this question is nothing but what it is you are given you will be given an integer number that is very large and in that number you will have to find the largest digit value so if we consider the input here two three five six seven four three two this la the largest digit uh, the largest digit in this sequence is 7. So our output is 7. So if we move to the next input, you can see here 67489364. This is the data sequence that is given to us. So in this, our security key will be 9. That is the digit with the, with the highest value. So this is the entire question. I know uh, the convert the work uh, a complete tries to compli uh, complicate it while, uh, by adding some English extra part of English. But the question here is simple that you will be given a long integer uh, long integer value in that you will have to find the digit with the maximum value and digit can be uh, digit can be from 0 to 9 only as we all know so i hope now the question is clear to you and now i think most of you will know that this is the very easy question that can come in an wipro exam so now let's just see how we will approach this question so what we'll do this is a single number do not consider as it uh, as an array or a string it is a single number what we'll do we will break this digit we will break this sequence digit by digit and we'll compare that which digit value is maximum so i hope the approach is clear to you that we will break this digit uh, break this sequence digit by digit and we'll compare the value of each digit with the maximum value that we have gotten so far so if the approach is not clear we should uh, we, i will directly jump to the uh, coding part that will be more clear to you okay so now let's just write so uh, I am writing in C++, but there are many languages you can prefer in the exam. So what we are given, so first value is int n, we will do C in n. So we will take the sequence, sequence of digit as input. Now we have to find the maximum digit in this number, that, that is in this sequence, n is the sequence here. So we, first what we will do, we will take our answer variable, uh, you can say max, max answer, that will be equivalent to zero initially because this max answer will store the value uh, value of the highest digit that is present in this n sequence so now what we'll do i have told you that we will iterate over this number that is the sequence that is given to us how we will be iterating over this sequence if it was an array we will simply loop through it that is i is equal to zero i is equal to one but now this is not an array this is a simple uh, simple big digit uh, big integer so how we will do it we will simply run a while loop while r sequence greater than zero that is n is greater than zero so while our n is greater than zero so this will be our way of iterating over this number so what we'll do we will take remainder that is int r is equal to n mod 10 so let uh, let's just suppose let's just suppose in our n value that is the sequence that is given to us that is one two three so this is the sequence that is given to us now we know that what what should be the answer of this particular sequence it should be three because three is the highest digit among all the digits in this sequence now i will be writing this while loop and explaining you the logic side by side for for this particular example so int r is equal to n mod 10 so it means that now our r value will contain 123 mod 10 it is three so r value is now we have got the last digit now we have got the last digit so what we'll do we will compare this last digit with the max answer 
सो मैक्स आंसर इज इक्वल एंड टू मैक्स ऑफ मैक्स आंसर दैट वॉज प्रीवियस मैक्स कॉमा दी करंट डिजिट सो आर मैक्स आंसर प्रीवियसली वॉज मैक्स आंसर प्रीवियसली वॉज जीरो एज वी हैव इनिशलाइज इट एंड नाउ इन दिस लाइन वट वी आर डूइंग वी आर कंपेयरिंग आर मैक्स आंसर विद द प्रीवियस मैक्स एंड द करंट डिजिट सो आर मैक्स आंसर प्रीवियस मैक्स वॉज जीरो एंड करंट इज थ्री सो मैक्सिमम जीरो और थ्री इज थ्री सो नाउ आर मैक्स आंसर वैल्यू कंटेन्स थ्री हेयर ओके सो नाउ नाउ ऑन द नेक्स्ट लाइन वट विल डू नाउ दीज आर दैल्यू अपडेटेड नाउ सिंस द रोल ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर डिजिट दैट इज द लास्ट डिजिट इन द सीक्वेंस इज ओवर सिंस द रोल ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर डिजिट इज ओवर वट विल डू विल सिंपली डू एन is equal to n divided by 10 so now our initial n was 123 we have taken the 3 that is uh, by uh, doing this particular step we have taken the taken the last digit as remainder and now we have compared the last digit with our with our max answer so once we have done this it means the roll of the last digit is over so what we will do we will do n is equal to n divided by 10 so 123 is equal to 123 divided by 10 it will give us 12 So now again, our this loop uh, will run because twelve uh, is greater than zero. So again, we will take r. R is equal to n mod ten. So now r has become two. Now again, on the next line, we will compare this uh, current digit that is r with the previous max. So our previous max answer was three. The current uh, r is two. So max of three and two is three only. So our max answer will remain three. So now again, the roll of this two is over. Again, we will do n is equal to n divided by ten. That is twelve divided by ten. It will give us one. Now again, one is greater than zero, so this while loop will run. So r is equal to n mod ten. That is one mod ten is one only. So now r value will be updated. Now on the next step, what we are doing, we are comparing this r value with the previous max. So max previous max answer was three. The current digit is one. So the uh, maximum answer is three only. So this step is over. Now our n value was one. We will again do n is equal to n divided by ten because the roll of one is over. So one divided by ten, we will, we will uh, it will give us zero. Now we will again come to the while loop. While are n greater than zero, so n is not greater than zero. So this while loop will be, this while loop will be over. And in the end part, what we'll do after the while loop, we will simply print out our max answer. That is three. So this is our max. This is the three. That is our answer. And our, and our original sequence was one twenty three. So one twenty three. We all know that in one twenty three, the highest digit is three only. So this is three. So now, now let's just run it on certain custom input only. So let's just first run it on 123 only. Okay. So on 123, it will give us three as a desired output. So let's just see. Okay. So you can see that output is coming out to be three. Now let's just give a give one, two, three, four, five, nine, eight. So in this particular sequence, you can see nine is the greater answer. So it should give us nine only. One, two, three, four, five, nine, eight. So nine should be our answer. Okay, so you can see that a nine is coming out to be our answer. So as this particular question will, uh, this particular code will pass all the all the test cases of this question. I hope this question was clear to you. And guys, if you have not subscribed to this channel till now, please subscribe it because because more such videos will be uploaded today only on my channel regarding this Wipro coding questions. Thank you for watching this video.